because six original people were on six. Five. No, Five. six, yeah, yeah, with you. Oh, with me, right, there were six then. Um, so who wasn't on it? Ms. Rayburn, Farhad, Simon, me, and Salah, and most of them. What do you guys remember about how the pandemic project started? So first, um, you you were like you were taking us uh, to the math for like five people to help us with math, and then we, uh, someone came up. Why don't we do a project of a uh, project the book of uh, pa the pandemic? Yeah, right. And then we uh, write a big letter to Miss Copa to ask her if we can do that project and everything. She said yes. Uh, like Simon got the head straps of the camera and everything. And the first thing like we started off is interviewing them. We met Cam for like for to, money to give for us. Money what did that feel us. like having to ask somebody who like works for the board for like a whole lot of money? How did you guys feel about doing that? It was exciting. It was exciting. exciting. Were you scared? Yeah, I was nervous. No, something nervous. A little bit. You, and you guys did all that work yourselves, the budget and figuring out the tax and how much we should ask for and everything and the research on the equipment. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised by how, how did you feel when you told us we were getting $3,500? Happy. Yeah. And we're still doing it at grade six. Yeah. So how has this, the pandemic project, been innovative to you? Um, it's innovative because you learn different stuff. You learn how to use we video, uh, we video, and we also learn how to make a website. Okay. Yeah, it was very innovative because we learned about a, a lot of stuff that we didn't think we would learn about. Like, like what? Like when you begin the school year, you don't think you're gonna learn how to make a website or work in a project this year. Like a project that goes this long. Yeah. Because it's been really two years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what are some of the things that you, I know you've been doing it longer, Danielle, because you were here in grade five too. Um, so what are some of the things you did that, that were really innovative or completely different from? Well, probably the interviews. I didn't think I was gonna learn how to do interviews or be interviewed. Yeah, and you had to do that online mainly. Yeah. How was that? It was hard because my family made a lot of noise my little brother wouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> you did a really good job though. You're like, I remember telling Mr. Kilby last year that I thought Daniel had a future in journalism because you were so good at the interviews. Mm -hmm. Did it help you to learn that from the professional we brought in? Yeah. A little bit? She, because I learned how to like put on, make sure the people, when I ask the questions, they give us a lot of more information. Yeah, you were really good at sort of giving follow-up questions that we hadn't planned on. Um, and that's because Julie Ayrton at CBC helped us out with that, eh? Yeah, so how did that feel though this year? Because now it wasn't just the five of you anymore. It became the whole class. Was that hard to give up control of the project? Or it, was it was easy. It was easy because everyone was helping. Helping. The whole class is working on something that you did and they're helping you with some things. Like each, like a person is doing a different stuff and you can finish it faster. Um, so Sajad, you came into the project partway through this year because you'd been doing OCV, right? So how did it feel coming into a project that was partway underway and it was kind of, our pandemic project days are kind of chaotic, right? Like everybody's doing different things, it's loud, and you come in and like you're back at Hawthorne, you haven't been here in a while, and all of a sudden it's just like chaos. What was that like? Um, it, I felt confused at first because I didn't know what was going on, but then you and some other students taught me what it was about, and now I'm just working with everyone this year. Because last year we had like a bunch of like a bunch of like ideas of what to do, but we didn't have time to do it last year. But this year we're like the project is basically almost done. Yeah. So you like seeing it come to the end? Yeah. Like you feel like you've like... Like you even said the, 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 the books are being printed. Yep. We have pictures, we have inter interviews. Are and... hey, you hugging the book? No. <laughs> You can move out to the city, leave the home you knew so well. You
can look for love in places you never go yourself when the walls of your apartment trap the loneliness inside know that everybody's hurting there's good things all around us all the time you can run towards some money you can run towards a life you can run so far away from pain you start to lose sight Something innovative was also making t-shirts. I never thought I was going to make one. You know, when we started the project, I never thought we were going to make t-shirts either. Um, it just, like, it really makes the project more official and really, when you're going down the halls um, to take photos or anything, it really shows people that we are the pandemic people and we are doing the pandemic project. That's cool. You designed yeah. this logo for the most part for our shirt, right? Yes. How did you come up with the idea? Well, it was originally going to be a smile. This part, the mask? So, uh, yeah, so I made it a smile to resemble happiness. Yeah. And how come you, you choose this, chose the red and the cool paint swatch? How did you do all that? Well, for example, the font. The, the font? The font for the shirt, the font for the shirt. Um, it was from a website. Um, how did it feel when you, your logo design got chosen out of all of them? Extremely when we great. Yeah, it must have felt I really good. I went home that day and told my mom. Oh, what did she say? Great. That's awesome. It must have felt really good. And nobody really knew it was yours. It was yeah. all anonymous, right? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, now everybody's wearing your design on their shirt. Yeah. So the, the mask part. Yeah. So if you were to look at like some of the older Nintendo logos, it was um, a dark red, so I took that yeah. and then made the logo. So how do you feel when, during the week when you know Friday's coming up? Is it something that you're like, I have no idea what this is going to be like? Is it something you look forward to? Because that's our pandemic project day usually. Something I look forward to, but I don't know what it's going to be like because we change stuff up almost every week. Yeah, you guys on Friday mornings, I usually now start by saying, okay, what should we do? What are we working on today? Hey, in this project, ideas change all the time. That's okay, right? Yeah. How does it feel to have that kind of control over your learning? Um, I'd say it's easier because at least I know because we'll be working on it for like maybe a couple of weeks. Yeah. So I guess I'll, most of the time I probably already know what we're doing. Yeah, because it's continuing from week to week. What's been your favorite part so far? 
that you've worked on? Making the t-shirts. Making the t-shirts. How about you, Sajad? T-shirts. Yeah. And what about, um, you guys have, your, I've noticed your writing has come along. Like, you were always pretty good writers, but for the class in general, the class has become such better writers and coming up with ideas since we started the project, which is really cool. Um, are you excited to have a book in your hands that you can show your families what you did? Yes. I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah. And if you could continue the project next year, what would you want it to, what would we do? What could, could anything that you like, I know we put a lot of time into the website, so, that, but there's still work to do on the website. Is there anything you'd want to still continue to work on? Obviously the book is done, but. The movie. We need to finish. Yeah, the movie is still in its infant stages, hey? That's kind of what I was thinking, too. There's so many things we could do with the movie, and to really expand it beyond the pandemic project, even, hey? Maybe, Maybe we like, can even make a show. That would be super cool, like a daily, oh, like a weekly news show or something. Yeah. We have all the equipment to do it now. Yeah, that would be awesome. Broadcast is like On that TV downstairs, downstairs maybe? I love hearing your ideas, you guys. You always have so many cool ideas. It's been awesome working with you guys on this project. You too. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. It's been awesome working on this project with you guys. I've loved it. I love Fridays. Me too. Me too. <laughs>